An update to a story we first brought you at 5. A Rockford man is under arrest, charged with ramming his truck into a Rockford store. Brett Brooks joins us now here in the studio. And Brett, police believe this man actually hit two buildings this morning. Yes, and police just gave us this information within this last hour. 56-year-old Richard Overcash is accused of ramming the front of a business on Sandy Hollow around 8 this morning. And before that, police say he did the same thing to a store on South Alpine, but did not get into either one. The door is thick. That's why he didn't get in. This security video showing the exact moment a red pickup truck slams into this small neighborhood store. It was just crazy. I was like, wow, it's just, I got to be aware every time I got to come up here. Every day. It happened around 4.30 Wednesday morning at J&F Tobacco, a worker telling us the driver was trying to break into this South Alpine location. And they just want something easy money. Easy money. The driver ran into this building two times, but as you can see, thanks to this metal bar and this metal gate, he was unsuccessful at trying to get in. This crime, a complete shock to the regular customers here, telling me the owners did not deserve this. Like, these people are good people in here. They don't do no bad, no bad business, good prices, everything. And for someone to try to do this, it's, it's just, I don't know what to think. I come every day. They're, you know, I'm sorry it happened to them. They don't deserve it at all. Nobody does, but especially them. Red paint chips from the truck are still visible, a box of the broken glass next to the trash can, the tire skid mark on the curb. One customer I caught up with, Rosemary Tiemann, says everybody in the Alpine Shopping Center looks out for each other. But I came in today and then I see this, I'm just amazed. I'm just totally amazed. It's just sad, very sad that this is happening in our community. And we kind of stick together around here. Despite the damage, the open sign is still lit. And workers say is business as usual. And we have to continue anyways because we're not going to shut the store just because somebody's trying to hit in the run. We're going to close the store. We're not going to be scared for that. The owners say they are going to install an even thicker door but still remain open. As for Overcash, he was carted with his truck not long after the second incident. He was also wanted on several unrelated um, warrants. Oh, thanks for that update.